Those of you who are familiar with, with Three Squares know we are now going to move to What the Food with our benevolent food scientist yes. and and uh, trivia master extraordinaire, food Kevin guru. Ryan. Guru. Yeah, guru. I like, I like that. That's a, that's, a better, that's a better title. I was yes, trying to guru. I like yeah, it. Guru. I like it. Guru. All right. So I want to dive into something that I've, I, I go down food rabbit holes uh, just to kind of like things I'm interested in. And I got really interested in diner slang recently. Mm, diner and I started slang. reading up on, yeah, diner slang. I don't know if you've heard like back in the, you know, when diners were really popular, the 1920s through the 1960s about, there was this, uh, you know, language that was used at diners to not only among, um, <clears throat> excuse me, among the workers, <clears throat> live, uh, but uh, among the customers too, right? So what I think that's so interesting about that is number one, uh, some of that language is still hung around. But number two, it's not that strange because if you think about it, it, it lends like a sense of place. So if you think about mm -hmm. Starbucks has their own language, like sure. tall, venti, frappuccino, all that is another language. And then there's secret uh, secret menus of like In-N-Out Burger and all that oh, yeah. stuff that you speak a, mm -hmm. a particular language. So what's interesting is that a lot of that diner slang um, probably was about that building the experience. Like people used to talk about going on vacation in New York and just going to diners just to hear the slang. And some wow. of that actually seeped over into words we use now. So for example, eggs over easy, that's diner slang. Ooh. Sunny side up, diner slang. The works, like on a burger, you know, when you put everything else, <laughs> that's diner slang. And BLT, that's actually originated as diner slang. Ooh. What about moon over my hammy? I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know that. Yeah. That's a Denny's. That was a Denny's menu. Yeah. I, yeah. Ah, I don't think okay. it was. I don't, so what I thought it would be fun, hopefully, you know, that you guys don't know a lot of this diner slang. I thought maybe I'd give you some diner slang and I've, I've sorted through this because some diner slang is, the, you know, a product of its times. So there's some, some stuff in there that you don't want to talk about anymore, but there's some stuff that's pretty interesting. So I, I, I filtered through it all and I found some diner slang. I thought maybe we'd do a little quiz, Ooh, a little quiz. quiz away. Quiz away. You're right, going so down. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you diner slang. You tell me what the order would have been. So remember, these are mostly oh. breakfast. They're going to be some lunch here as well. Okay. Okay. So this, imagine a waitress yelling this to the back of house, short order cook. Shingles with a shimmy and a shake. Shingles would be pancakes with a no, shimmy. Bread. I think bread. Yeah, it's some open face. And a something. shake. Yeah. Shimmy and a shake. A shake is a shake literally a shake? No, you were close. You were close, Susan. So shingles would be buttered toast with jam. That would be the shimmy. Oh, so wow. Buttered okay, toast. I get it. Okay. With jam. Yeah. Okay. How about this one? Wait, what, what, what's, total... what's the shake? I think it's, I don't know. I guess because the, 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 it know shakes on the top, the, the jam shakes on Maybe, top. You yeah, put enough on it so both. that it shakes. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Cool. Okay. This one you guys should definitely get because, well, you'll, you'll realize in a moment. Nervous pudding. Nervous pudding. Jello. Nervous? Jello. Right. Oh. Jello. Okay. This yeah. one, Charlie, I'm thinking you're going to get this one just because. Wait, wait, why wouldn't you just say Jello? See, that's just it. That's why there's been because a hypothesis. There's, yes, there's a hypothesis people have said, oh, there was diner slang because it was faster. The, none of these are That's faster. It's not faster. No. Nervous no, it's pudding cool. is not faster. It's cool. It was cool. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Okay, how about this one? Uh, give me a bowl of whistleberries. Whistleberries. Beans. Yes. <laughs> Baked beans. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Charlie gets Why that. I, like, I, I, get that I knew Why Charlie would that get that Okay. Last one. This is the hard one. This is the hard one. Okay. Burn one, take it through the garden and pin a rose on it. Wow. Yeah. These were long. They were Burn not. Burn one, take it through the garden. So you're going to, you're going to, you're going to cook something. You're going to put something green on it, like some lettuce. It's going to be you're well gonna... done. Pin, and a, pin rose a rose on, on it. On it. A, uh, a burger, burger well, well done. done burger with, with lettuce and ketchup. Very close. It's a, it's a burger with lettuce, tomato, and an onion. The onion being the rose. The rose. Huh. Yes. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah. I mean, it's it pretty cool. And you can see how some of that language. So, so that's. Uh, so if I go cool. to Red Robin and say, bird one, drag it through the garden and put a rose on it. <laughs> they will ask you to leave. They will. Oh. <laughs> they will. <laughs>